Hi, welcome to Skunk at a Garden Party. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Brittany and today we are going to set beer traps for sluggos because I've been noticing I have a slug problem in this bed and that bed. Of course I have a slug problem, right? I protect it from the cabbage moths with the cover, but of course the slugs still. So let me show you the slugs and I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do about them. And I will show you if it works or not. There's mushrooms in the grass as well, which means we have really healthy soil. And we just gotta look out for the dog poo bombs that I have to clean up still. Anyway, here you can see the slug problem. They really come out at night. Last night when I checked in here, these leaves were just full of slugs, munching and munching and munching. So some of them they don't like. The radicchio in here, you can see they haven't really touched the carrots are untouched, um, but they do like this brassica here and this softer lettuce here. So a lot of this stuff in this bed has to come out today. I have to set the beer traps and I have to plant new seeds. So if you would like, come along. I'm gonna do that now. So I found a buggo. Don't question my methods, okay? And don't, this is not a tutorial. Um, where did I see him? I was down in here doing some weeding and I saw a sluggo. They definitely stay off this radicchio for the most part, but oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. So those are the guys we're gonna try to catch. I still have a bit of weeding to do in this bed. But I think now I'm going to show you the beer trap we're going to set up. That's the thing that pooped in the yard, by the way. This thing has been in our fridge forever. It's not for you, you little drunk. Uh, we don't drink, but it's been there for my husband's dad whenever he comes over, which admittedly is never. So we've had this for years. We're never going to touch it. We're never going to drink it. So you know who it's for? The slugs. The dogs seem to think it's for them though. <laughs> so I recommend you use plastic dishes, but I have these glass dishes that I absolutely hate. And you're probably like, oh, but they're cute. They look like little apples, but no, I, I really dislike them. Uh, and I have so many of them that we never use. So they're for the garden now. That's how I decided. So I've got these, I'm gonna dig them into the soil so they are level with the soil. Basically the soil comes up to here so that when the slugs are walking along, they are like, ooh, beer, and they go in to have a party. That's basically the plan. Yeah, it actually kind of looks cute, doesn't it? A little apple. All right, now the fun part. I'm gonna do a few of these, but for the sake of the lesson, right now, you just do that. All right, cheers to the slugs. <laughs> and they'll be attracted to that, they'll go into there and they'll get stuff, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, have a party. So let's do the other three, four, three, four total. Other places in my garden where this is 
things as it takes. Alright, so in the compost here just goes. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And that's what gardening is all about. So because I anticipated this, I also started some in my little outdoor greenhouse shelf. We have some other experiments down here too, like some beans, bush beans. I think that's what I'm actually gonna be putting in that bed over there. I don't know if the slugs will be interested in that or not. And I have a cantaloupe there. This year, my big goal is melons, baby. Yeah, big juicy melons. Yeah, so this stuff uh, I've never grown before either. Seems to be doing well. So let's put some stuff in the ground. So that's it for today's video. I'm sure I will get some people in the comments being like, you're supposed to set the beer traps at night. And I will come back and I'll dump them and reset them at night. But I have a really busy day ahead of me. I didn't have time to do this this afternoon. I need to be able to come home later tonight after my day and just refill those traps. And hopefully in the morning, we will have caught a bunch of sluggos. I will update you. All right, have a great night. Bye. It is the morning after. Let's see, do we catch any sluggos? I don't know. Let me, let me get those out of there and look a little bit better. One second. Looks like I caught an earwig, some isopods. What about this one? This one caught some isopods too. Oh, oh, and a slug is coming in to get a little drinky poo. So there you go, it does work but I think it needs a little bit more time, a couple more days in that garden to be really successful.